So now we've finally moved on from AND compound inequalities to OR compound inequalities. And remember the difference is that with OR, the solution is any value that satisfies either of the inequalities in the compound inequality. Whereas with AND, it has to satisfy both. So instead of looking for overlap, we combine the graphs and, and therefore combine the sets that end up being the solution in interval notation. So in this problem we have 1 minus 2x is less than or equal to negative 3 or 7 plus 3x is less than or equal to 4. So we'll follow the same process that we did before. We'll subtract 1 from both sides on the left hand side of the compound inequality and we're left with negative 2x is less than or equal to negative 4. Divide both sides by negative 2 and remember we have to be careful to reverse the direction of the inequality because we divided both sides by a negative value. So we're left with x on the left hand side is greater than or equal to 2. Remember these are or the entire way down. So we'll subtract 7 on the right hand side we get 3x is less than or equal to 4 minus 7 is negative 3 divide both sides by 3 and even though it involves a negative we didn't divide both sides by a negative so this stays less than or equal to negative 1 so now we'll we'll draw our individual number lines if we look at the endpoints on each one we're we're at negative 1 and 2, so we just need to make sure that we get those in both of our, our number lines. So x is greater than or equal to 2. We'll start down here at negative 2. x is greater than or equal to 2. It includes the equal, so we'll use a closed circle or a, a square bracket at x is greater than or equal to 2. And it's greater than, so we go to the right. Now we'll graph the right hand side of the compound inequality using the same scale. 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. And we have x is less than or equal to negative 1. So again, because it includes equal, I'll use a closed circle, a dot, or you could use a square bracket. And we're going to the left. Now this is where the difference between OR or AND comes into play. And again we'll have the, the same scale. 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. And instead of what satisfies both inequalities, in this case that would be nothing because they don't share anything in common, instead we combine their graphs. We're looking at something that that satisfies either inequality so we simply put the two graphs together and then in interval notation we're going from negative infinity to negative one and it includes the negative one so we'll put a square bracket there and that's in union with combined with two again square bracket because it's inclusive infinity. So we should be able to put in any value for x from negative infinity to negative 1 including negative 1 or from 2 to infinity including 2 and it will satisfy both inequalities. So here's our number line graphed for the compound inequality and our interval, interval notation.